Okay, now that you've handled your problem, or at least the first problem on line integrals, we're going to go more into some more definitions. Okay, previously we did mention that a curve is smooth. Remember, a curve is smooth. Okay, if first derivative or the tangent vector, first derivative of the position vector is continuous, continuous for a to b, let a t, the range of values of t, let's just say. So that's where the curve is smooth. Now, coming from that, you have another, another term called piece wise smooth. Okay, which may be of no relevance to you right now, but it's certainly very important when we're gonna prove Green's theorem. All these, all these definitions, all these terms will be used to develop further work. And the curve is piecewise smooth if, okay, the first derivative of the position vector is continuous and different from the zero vector, continuous and different from the zero vector, okay, at all but possibly a finite number of values of t. Okay? Piecewise smooth, a curve is piecewise smooth if the first derivative of the position vector is continuous and different from the zero vector at all but possibly a finite number of values of t. So what does that mean? Well, that could clearly be summed up by a simple diagram, okay? And the diagram goes like that. For piecewise smooth, it is continuous. I'm oh, sorry, if the curve is smooth, the position, the first derivative is defined everywhere, but piecewise smooth is this. We go from here, let's just, okay, we we'll go from here, say P0, yeah, P0, okay? And then we go over here, but down here, the first derivative of the ten tangent vector is, is zero. So there is no tangent vector. So that means it stops over here like that, and then we carry on over here like this. Stop, carry on, stop, carry on. For a finite, for possibly a finite number of values of t. So the number is finite because we got these four points in which the first derivative is zero or it's undefined because there's certainly no tangent vector over there, okay? So that is what piecewise smooth means. So now, let's just say that P, P0 is here, so we got P, A, P, B, and P, C, right? Okay, and we want to find the line integral, okay? We want to find the line integral, okay, of let's just say we want to go from P0, sorry, on, on the curve C, okay? Like that, okay, but we want to find from P0 to B. Okay, let's just tidy up the notation in a bit. The line integral is here on the curve C, sorry, over the curve C. So C is written over there, okay? But because C is the whole thing over here, okay? Whether smooth or piecewise smooth, but let's take it as the curve is the whole thing. So we need to find the line integral from P0 to PB. So we want to go from here to over here. Now what we do is that we can just simply break this up, okay? As the line integral, Okay, of f is the same thing over the curve C, okay, oh sorry, but now we're gonna take the line integral of f, the, the vector field of the curve C1, okay? And then we define curve C1 to be here, curve C2 to be here, where this is the curve over here. So C1 is from here to here, C2 is from here to here. So we wanna take the line integral of the vector field f over the curve C, assuming that it's from here to here, okay? We just take the line integral of the individual smooth curves, if there's such a thing, okay? Why? Because remember, we need the first derivative of the position vector to exist over here, dr. We need dr to exist for us to evaluate the integral, and we can't evaluate dr when we have a point over here where dr or where the first derivative is undefined or it's not continuous. So what we need to do is that we need to take the line integral from, of the curve C1, okay, plus the line integral of C2 of the same vector field, and we add them up together. Okay, that is how we do it. That means if we wanna go, we wanna take the line integral from, from, from two points, okay, but we know that in the, in the two points there's a certain gap or where the curve is not smooth because it's a piecewise smooth curve, we need to take the line integral of the individual smooth parts of the curve, C1 and C2. Bear in mind that Cj, okay, Cj must start 
where cj minus 1 ends. Okay? Just to simply put that we can't, this does not apply if this thing is like this, okay? CJ, one, CJ starts over here, but CJ plus 1, sorry, J minus 1, okay, is, is over here. That means we have missed out this part of the graph. So CJ must start where CJ minus 1 ends, such as over here, okay? Now, that is what piecewise smooth curves means, and let's just quickly do a simple example, okay, of piecewise smooth curves. Then we can move on to some further results. Just want to handle this example very quickly because the, the main stuff is coming. Okay.